Hi, I'm Liana Fink. I'm a cartoonist and a graphic novelist, and this is how I get it done. On a typical morning, I'll try to wake up around 7. And I walk to a cafe that's about a mile from my house, and I'm emailing while I'm walking. I'm a bad person. The cafe is my hour or two of really great unstructured time. It's when I come up with ideas and kind of mix up emailing and drawing for Instagram with, with other projects. It's my favorite. And then I'll go for my wonderful run. I run in Prospect Park and the aim is to pass the dog beach as many times as possible. It's a lake where dogs swim in the summer and even in the winter I feel that their spirit lingers. We started getting The New Yorker when I was 12 or so, and I just, I fell in love with Roz Chast and Saul Steinberg and William Steig, and I knew that I wanted to do what they did. I think I got my first cartoon when I was 27. When I'm coming up with ideas for New Yorker cartoons, I ride a train to the ocean and then walk or run on the ocean for a few hours, and then I ride the train again for a few hours. I find that I'll make bad things for two hours, and that's what I'm drawing now. I'm drawing bad things that mean nothing. At some point, my brain comes into focus, and I start to feel that I'm having ideas. It's the best feeling to feel that you're kind of connecting. My first book is called A Bintel Brief, and I don't think I had found a style yet. I think I found my style when I started drawing for Instagram, because no one was paying me. I just drew really simply, and that became my style. I'm lucky to have a style that's really easy, and that's kind of an anti-style. The messiness expresses something about me that I feel right now. I think I'll change, and I think my style will change as I change. I love printer paper and that's what I primarily use. And I use a Muji gel pen, size 0.38. It reacts to every little tremor in your wrist. It wants very, very smooth paper. My Instagram page is kind of a diary. The main buckets my work can be put into are dating, being weird, feelings, strangers on the street, strangers on the internet, and planning. I think I do have kind of a weird brain where, where I might have some neurological differences, but I also think these feelings of fear are pretty common among city dwellers and among women. I draw these interactions kind of as therapy for myself because I'm trying to figure out why they scare me so much. I do engage with my fans a lot. Sometimes I say something very clumsy and wrong, but a lot of the time people are just primed to be angry, and I think that's a very interesting Thing that happens on the internet and I kind of like courting it to watch it unfold and, and to think about it and to make cartoons about it. I love being around people and I don't usually draw the things I love about people. I would love to be invisible. I know many people say that and it's not true, but for me it's true. I would love to not be in the way and just to be able to watch every interaction that happens and to like stare at people. So I think I've found a group of younger women who are often artists and, and often shy, and that's been wonderful. I love Ruby Elliott, Evgenia Viti, Lord Birthday, Julia Wirtz. There are many. I hate two things. I hate my art not being seen, and I hate my art being seen. When I have a book out, I always get depressed. It, it's just this like self-consciousness of having people see what you've done and you feel judged. But when I was younger and I didn't get published, I felt like this nihilistic feeling that I couldn't make anything ever. But I try to divide my life into two parts. One is like a public shower of my work and one is like someone who knows my work has been seen and can now retreat and make something new. It's a constant negotiation. If I have trouble sleeping, sometimes I take a Benadryl. <laughs> I, don't, I don't switch off my work brain. My favorite times are when, for some reason, I'm not equipped to work at full throttle and then I get to read a book. It's the best. I always make a martini for myself every night with an olive in it. 
I typically go to sleep at 11 and then I wake up and I do it all over again.